Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Vintage Story, shall we? Well, this game was gifted to the channel most generously by our good friend Alex, and I have to say I know nothing about it other than when I was filling out the uh, form to download it, it looked like it was like a you know, Minecraft mod of some kind, but I don't know if it's just using that platform to deliver the game or what we're even getting into, but we're going to try it. So I'm going to go to single player, and I'm going to create a new world. And uh, let's see, I can select different play styles. Standard, the default survival experience a vintage story balanced exploration building and survival i could go exploration wilderness which would be like more challenging survival or creative all right so i'm going to go with the default experience and we're going to create a world the world name is dark adventure lands which actually sounds kind of sinister and what do we got here gloomy kingdom world Peaceful Kingdom World, Vintage Adventure Lands. How about that? Create that world. It begins, it senses, it remembers all that came before. A world unbroken. Taste and smell, grand inventions. Glimmers in the soil. Burning sparks. It's like a cosmogony. It remembers and calls to you. Return again. Okay. We'll have to see what all of that means. I really have no idea. We'll find out soon enough. Okay. We're in. Dear player, the in-game help system, the handbook, contains useful info which might be essential to your survival. At any time, you can press H to open the handbook. And I think Alex was telling me to do this all the time. Push H. Um, okay, close and don't show again. Oh my. Okay, well, we get to customize our appearance. And this indeed is some kind of uh, deep Minecraft modification, it appears. But... I don't want to oversimplify it. Let's see what we've got here. All right, so I'm going to say... Now the skin tone is right on, but can we get a more blue? There you go. Hair type. Um, What can we get here? Uh, Not bad. What's classic? Uh, hair extra. None. All right, let's make this. Let's see what we can get here. Messy. Dreadlocks. Messy. Let's just see what different short parted um do 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 I'm just checking out the different hairstyles. Uh try to figure out which one would best fit our archetype. Probably this. This is fine. Mustache seagull. <laughs> Uh, give me the full beard, but, um, this is fine. Mustache. Uh. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh. Alright, there's a beard. There's a mustache. The facial expression should be... Well, they're only negative. Uh, I guess a kind facial expression? Um, and then let's go for a different mustache, uh, <laughs> sheriff. That's about right. I have a nice little smile now. Uh, my hair color will be sand dune, correct. There we go. We're looking really good. Uh, underwear, two-piece. Uh, how about some breeches? That's great. Voice type. Oh, uh, oh, wow, this is really interesting. All 
Oh boy. <laughs> this is so funny, voice type. Um, I'm gonna go with the oboe. I always like the oboe. All right. Um, show me dressed. Okay, I look great. All right, everybody. So we've customized our skin. We've made it ourselves look pretty much like the channel avatar as much as possible. And we're going to go with some blue eyes. And let's see. What else do we want to do with this? That looks great. Love this. Uh, confirm skin. Now we get to pick our class. We could be a commoner. Leave behind your old life. Crawl into the new world. Commoners are generalists from a multitude of backgrounds. While they have no defining skills or strengths to speak of, they also lack the weaknesses of those who specialize. Traits, no positive or negative. All right. Or we could be a hunter, a malfactor, a clockmaker, a blackguard, a tailor. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. Um... Interesting. Okay, so this looks really robust. I have no idea. Um, but, it, like, if I, you know, let's say I picked Hunter, uh, then you would get this background flavor, and then you would get some positive traits, and then some negative traits as well, as do the Malfactor have... Uh, Terrible things are done in the heart of despair. She is gone, but you remain. Um, and I, ha so it's like I survived, but I have a terrible conscience about surviving, I guess. I could be a clockmaker who is a master of precisions and systems. I could be a soldier that, that is good in close range combat. I could also be a tailor which means we provide clothes and clothing repairs. Um, but we've got some other minuses. Honestly, I love everything that I see here, but I think I'm just going to go wide open and just go with the commoner. Um, but if you look at some of these other penalties and bonuses, it starts to really dawn on you that there is something really interesting going on in this game. There's a drop rates for animal loot uh there's uh or you're you're able to affect your range damage accuracy walk speed um your health your loot from foraging your crop drop rate damage against machines you know uh temporal gear cost to repair translocators Cracked vessels, loot from foraging, goodness gracious. Okay, so very, very interesting stuff, but I'm just going to go basic because I don't know anything. And oh, I'm in the game. I'm just in it. Okay, so let's see. I can collect this uh, by using a tool and the left mouse button, but I don't have any tools. Let's see. Let me open up my handbook. Starter guide. Let's see what they got. Survival. The art of not dying. I need that. One second, though. I do want to make the font a little bit bigger. Okay, perfect. I'm back. I put the uh, font or the, the GUI size at 17, so it's a little bit easier for me to read uh, at this resolution. All right. Disclaimer, this guide is purposely kept short. A comprehensive survival guide can be found on the wiki, which is also built in. First tools, find flint are hard stones. They can often be found on uh, loose on the ground. When you have two of them, shift right click to place one on the ground to begin napping. Napping is uh, stone age tools. To begin napping, you have to first collect two stones, either flints or hard loose stones, granite. With a stone in your active hand slot, aim at the ground and hold the sneak plus the right mouse button. And you place it and you make a napping surface. And then we can make a tool. Okay, so let's try to do that. Let's just try to find some stones. Uh, let's see here. Um, all right, I'm moving around. Let's look around. Let's look at the sky. Yep, it's like that kind of very cloudy. 
the Minecraft sky, but the the filter is this very uh, kind of heavy, not sepia, but there's something going on, and there are some trees. I'm in a deep, deep chasm right here, and by chasm, I mean chasm. Okay, I'm back. I also adjusted the mouse sensitivity. It was a little low out of the gate for me. Um, all right, here we go. So I'm looking for stones and flint and the like, and I don't think I'm going to be able to collect any of this without it. So uh, shift is sneak. I don't know. Uh, space bar is jump. Control is sprint. These are birch leaves, apparently. All right, so this looks like a very, very heavy survival game. What are these? Sandstone stones. Right click is pick up. Great. So we got one. Let's see if we can find some more stone. Wow, what a beautiful game. There's so much wildlife and so much foliage. Here's a stone over here. We're going to get it. All right, so I'm going to pick this up. Loose flint. Um, oh, I need to pick it up in my other slot. Okay, so I had my uh, stone that I had picked up in number one, and I couldn't pick it up. Oh my god, there's bad stuff coming. Run. I'm not ready for you. I can't fight you. Oh no. So anyway, you have to have an open tool slot, basically, to use what you have. Um, okay, hopefully they aren't following me anymore. I'm, I'm just a man. Oh no, you are following me. It's like a death rooster. It, it's like a peacock or a chicken of doom. I'm not ready for you. Okay, so... Shift and there we made a uh, napping surface. I want to make a knife. Okay. An axe and a hoe. Great. For basic close range defense and tree chopping. Okay. Um... Did I do it? Or did I fail? I feel like I didn't make it. I feel like I failed. I should have selected the other stone, I think. I certainly didn't get anything. Alright. Well, let's go out and look for some more stuff then. I botched that. Don't nap like me, children. I'm, I'm a bad napper. All right, let's go over here. I like this music. I mean, the game looks great. This must be a very, very involved, crazy... Uh, oh, okay, sandstone. Let me pick this up. Now, I can't... Um, I don't think I can nap. But I can place it on the ground. Right? And then can I... Nah. I can't nap unless I have flint, maybe? It did say you could do stuff with two stones, but I'm not sure what. So I'm going to run around looking for some more flint, maybe. I see some stones over here. Alright, we got three stone. And this is more stone. Okay, good. Here, let's get... Is this flint over here? Let's get some stone. We need a nap. There's the loose flint. Great. Alright, we picked it up. And we got this. Okay. So now we have some more stone. So does this help us? I'm looking over here at wild mountain ranges. Some pretty impressive trees on top of mountains. All right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go in this. And I'm going to... Napping. Two stones. Either flints or hard, loose granite. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't understand this. I didn't keep reading. That's my own fault. So would the, the shape of the stone tool be shown on the napping surface with another stone in hand? Use the left mouse button to remove all orange voxels to form the chosen stone tool shape. Ah, tips. To see which stones are hard enough to make tools, check the tool tip in the inventory. You can immediately nap loose stones on the ground instead of picking them up if you have another stone in hand and use sneak plus right mouse. 
To save time, not all orange voxels need to be removed, only those directly touching the tool head. Okay. Well, let's see if we can nap them with the surface that we have. Let me try to make an axe head again, right? And so that I need to hit... Um, but I don't think this tool... I don't know if this stone that I have is... Is hard enough to do this with. I'm going to try. Alright, got it. Broke it apart. Did it. Now, we have a flint axe head. Great. Alright, so now I have an axe head. But I'm going to need, like, wood or something, right? Okay, so we need to expand, expand our inventory, find food, fire, shelter, preparing for winter. Oh, dear God. Alright, um... Okay, so this is the crafting inventory. Well, let's go see if we can collect, like, flowers or something. I don't know. You can if you have the right tool, which I don't. Uh, let's go see if I can use this on a tree. Here's some cattails, which we can make. Apparently, you can make, like, a basket. And, um... I don't think I'm doing a good job here. Oh, we did it. We can... If we use a knife, we can keep the... Uh, we can keep the roots on these cattails intact, but I'm not worried about that. So I can make a, ba a wicker basket for myself to expand my inventory, which seems pretty slick. I'm just hitting this uh, cattail with my sandstone. And... Once I get 10 of these, I think I can craft a basket. I also want to gather berries. I need food. You can see the right bar. I don't know if that's my food right there. Like my hunger bar. I don't know. All right, I'm up to seven. Okay, here we go. And now we've got 10. So let's open this and... I don't know, I'm just gonna click all this in here. That didn't work. All right, so I gotta read the instructions more carefully on this. So this is a very, very deep crafting game that does not hold your hand. So, uh, let's see, basket, hand basket, okay, here we go, we can make it with this shape, fantastic, alright, I'm going to do it like that then, let's try it, and I'm just right clicking, and yes, look, we did it, storage slots three, Okay, and then over here, you can see I have basket slots, so I'm just going to put it there. And look at that, we got a basket. So I feel pretty good about that. Um, this is birch leaves, yeah, whatever. Um, I'm going to go try to find a tree or something, or, oh, what is this, native copper bits. Well, that seems helpful. Uh, okay, I'm going to need wood. So I don't know if I can get wood from, I mean, here's a tree. But what if I use, like, this axe head on the birch leaves? That did nothing. Branchy leaves. Oh, this gave me, what, a stick? Okay. I like that. Let's see if we can get some more sticks. We did. Right, I'm hitting these br maple branchy leaves and birch leaves, whatever. I'm going to go into E. And I'm going to say, um, with an axe head and, like... Yes, one stick, I made an axe. Oh my god, I feel fantastic about that. All right, I'm going to put this over here. Uh, and now I've got an axe. So we can fight a little bit, and we can probably get some wood. 
Uh, this black currant bush is empty, and in four days it will flower. This one, oh, it has berries. So I got some berries. Can I eat it? I did, and you can see my green bar going up when I eat the black currants, and so that's cool food. So I can at least forage until the winter comes. All right, so winter is, you know, as they say, coming. It's always doing that, isn't it? Uh, but for now... What we're going to do is just jump up here like fools. Uh, I'll collect that, sure. And let's see. I need to, I'm going to need a place to sleep. I mean, that goes without saying. What's this? This is growing onions, but it requires nutrients. Okay, so there's onions over here, everybody. Interesting. Now, I need some more flint to make tools. So let's see if we can find any of that. So, you know, in Minecraft, you make, like, wooden tools. But I don't know if that's the case in this game. I think we're going straight Stone Age. This is lead ore bits. I'll collect it. Fine. There's some berry bushes down there. It looks like we can eat from. It's a beautiful daisy. Here's some, you know, lavender. I'm going to gather that. What is this? Cranberries? All right. Okay, we got some, we got some more berries. Great. Okay, so I'm gonna take a look. What is this? Sandstone. All right, fine. I'm gonna. Is this flint? Please be. It is perfect. What if there's a way to quick, like, quick pull up my basket? You know, to just put something inside. Uh, here's more of these. Like, if I wanted to attempt to gather that I could all right these these cattails if I wanted to break these so I could make another basket or something I don't know how important that is but I could now in the meantime I'm gonna bring up my handbook and um, okay so stone age is what we're doing uh, I don't think I'm ready for the pottery age copper age late copper bronze age oh am I progressing like all the way through human anthropological stages of technological development. Oh my god, a cave. This could be our home. Look, what's this? Lead. Oh, how awesome is this? I feel terrified, but also intrigued. Totally going to be our home. All right. Let me figure out what I want to nap out of this. All right? What do we want to make? A knife blade? Or a hoe head? Kickstart your farming adventures? I mean, yeah, pretty much. I think we need to farm if we're going to eat. All right, I'm going to do this. Okay. Take my stone. And I'm going to nap this. I'm being very, very careful. Or I'm trying to. I don't want to lose this project. Due to criminal napping negligence. I'm very capable of such negligence. I just want to minimize the damage that I do to the world and this hoe head. I got it. Great. And then we go to the crafting screen and I'm just going to put this hoe head over here with a stick. I'm assuming it's a similar recipe and yes, you know it. I'm going to put these ore in my basket for now because I really don't see myself being able to, to like forge anything with ore at the moment. I'm barely able to move around. Okay, here's some delicious water. It doesn't look like I need to drink that. I'm going to eat these cranberries. Oh, you right-click to eat, by the way, not smash things. Okay. And not a tremendous amount of food, but enough. All right. So now let's look at the starter guide. 
and it says we're getting some tools we're expanding our inventory we need to find food and it says an easy food source is berries from berry bushes if you're feeling adventurous attempt to hunt and kill an animal i'm not going to do this i don't like the process and i'm not feeling adventurous cooked cattail roots are a good emergency food Keep an eye open for crops. They'll be valuable food sources in the longer term. Once you found clay, be sure to get into meal cooking to greatly improve your nutrition intake. Uh, fire and light. Nap a knife and use it to gather grass. Plas place grass on the ground. Add four pieces of firewood and ignite it with a fire starter. Oh, okay. What's a fire starter? It's um, dry grass and sticks. All right, then. So we need that. So we need a knife blade. So the hoe thing might have been a little bit presumptuous. Let's instead go find some more flint so that we can uh, build a knife. What is this? This is coal. Okay. And let's look around. Oh, my God. What's this? What's this? Uh, Puffball. It's a mushroom. Oh. Sandstone. Huh. Well, I can... I can at least get these. Oh, these are not ready. Um, what about this? Not ready. Are you ready? Yeah, cranberries. I'm eating it. Check me out. I'm going to eat these too. I'm going to keep my food topped off. All right, great. What is this stone? Granite cobblestone. See, this is something I don't really know anything about in terms of a story for the game. Like what? I don't know who I am, why I am. I'm a commoner who's trying to survive, I guess. I've, like, run away from something, or I've been teleported here, or... Uh, I don't really know my backstory, and I don't know the backstory of this world, but here's some flint. Like, was there once a great civilization that has crumbled? And this is, like, fantasy, zombie, apocalypse... I, I couldn't say. Huh, okay. Great. Alright, I got another flint. Let's get that knife. Let's make it. Alright. Knife, blade. Oh, I see. You have to... You have to get really good with the napping here. We have to make both sides of this, it looks like. This is like... Kind of like playing Operation. You know... You got to have steady hands. You could lose it all. All right. Let's nap it. Naps. Napped it. Uh oh. No, don't fight me, whatever you are. I'm just a man. All right, we got a flint knife. All right, now we're an armed man. Oh, you get two, though. Two for the price of one, so that's good. All right, so well, let's harvest that, and then we can collect this stuff now. So they said we should collect grass. Hey, I've got a knife. I thought that that's what I used um, to collect grass. Maybe not. Maybe I was wrong about that. I thought it said that. Uh... Um, nap a knife and use it to gather grass. Maybe this isn't grass. Like, maybe it needs to be taller or something. I'm... Oh, no, 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 never mind. You just don't right-click. I wasn't looking at the picture. I was failing when I looked at the picture. I'm a moron. Yeah, so no, most of the time you right-click stuff, but this is like you left-click it. And when you have the knife selected, you can actually get the item that you're looking for. Okay, great. So I've got the grass. And now I can... My knife durability is getting wrecked. Place the grass on the ground. Add four pieces of firewood. And ignite it. Uh, I need to break, like, stumps with an axe or something. 
Is that lightning? Oh my god, it's going to thunderstorm on me. I'm ruined. Oh no! Can I get back to that cave? Do I want to get back to that cave? I found it. We're in. Alright, everybody. Well, we're somewhat safe. In that we might not be killed by lightning while we're in here. Oh, wait. What did I get? Some seeds? Did I pick that up? Anyway. I did. These are carrot seeds. Oh, great. Okay. And... My god, I don't know what that is. I need more baskets. My bags. My bags aren't where they need to be. So there's lightning coming, so I'm standing in the water because I'm a genius. You know what's going to happen to me. Alright, we're going to get into this. We're going to try this. Uh, okay, I've got enough. We did it. All right, we got some berries. Good. We got enough to make a basket. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a basket. Uh. Here we go. Basket time. How about that? Get in there. All right. It's delightful. Okay. I'm going to make even more baskets. We're going to have just kind of a lot of baskets. I wonder what the... Uh, can I see the controls? Okay, here we go. Backpack is E. There we go. All right, I got four. Okay, well, that's awful. Five. Six. Here we go. Uh-huh. How now how am I do now? Okay, there we go. Alright, we're gonna put this here, like this, like this, like that, and like this. But we've done it. We have three baskets, and it's becoming night. We couldn't figure out how to get firewood. It's going to be pitch black. <laughs> oh, God. Let me, get, let me try to make, get some wood. Break it. Do it. We're trying. This is hard work. Okay, we got it. Oh, we chopped down the whole tree. It's not like Minecraft. There's some physics or something. Okay. Uh, Alright, so anyway. We do have firewood. So... What do I have to do? Do I put my axe in here to make firewood? Is that how that worked? Firewood. Alright, great. Make some. Sure. Make a bunch. I don't know how much we need to make. Okay, we did it. And it says for this process that what we're supposed to do is uh, make fire. So we're going to uh, place the grass on the ground and add four pieces of firewood and ignite it with a fire starter. So we need a fire starter, which is dry grass and sticks. I don't think I have enough sticks. Actually, I know I don't have enough sticks. So I'm going to try to find something that will yield sticks. Birch leaves. Do you guys yield sticks ever? Do I have any? I got one stick. Okay, great. Need one more to get the fire starter. Oh, I think I did it. I think I just did it. Now it's incredibly dark. Terrifyingly dark. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to make a fire. All right. Place the grass on the ground. All right. Add four pieces of firewood. All right. So I'm going to select the grass. Okay. Here we go. I can just, uh, let's see. Am I, 
We'll see if it rains. Doesn't look like it's going to. I'm going to shift, right click. We made a fire pit. And then uh, we can now put the firewood on there. So I'm going to kind of do that, I guess. Put the stuff that I don't need in here for the time being. And then uh, shift to... Okay, I made it. And then I need the fire starter. So we make it with sticks and grass like that. Okay, I'm going to put it right here. I'll make two of these. They do not stack, by the way. And I'm going to... Uh, let's see. I have it selected. And you just use... Uh, you use it and you shift right click. I got it. Oh my gosh, I made a fire pit. I have made fire. You know, like in uh, Castaway. Look at that, we have some light now. Okay, all right. So I made a campfire. And can I put this in the fire to like refuel it? Do I need to refuel it? Um, oh, it's showing me right there. Oh my god, yes you do. It's burning it very rapidly. So this is not a long time fire pit. This is like, this fire pit is not going to last through the night. But we are producing light. Wow. What a spooky experience. I mean, look at this starry night sky. We are just in utter desolation and solitude darkness nightmare but you know we did make a fire and if we gather some more supplies we can produce some more we aren't starving to death we've made some baskets for ourselves, and I think we're doing well I honestly have to say I feel pretty good We've made it, in terms of the starter guide, down to where combat and shelter. It's a good idea to build a small shelter before the night sets. Useful Stone Age building materials are cob, soil, packed dirt, and cobblestone from ruins and logs. Right, I don't know what cob is. Uh, let's check it out. I clicked on it. Nothing happened. Okay. Uh, cobblestone. Oh, God, I'm never going to make that. Um, logs. Okay. So I can make with logs, like, a fence or a gate. Firewood, a wooden door, a club. An wow, look at this. Angled gears. Oh, man, this is super involved. Well. Maybe I can just build with this. Maybe I can just take this and, like, make my own little house. You know, I can be like, hey, I'm going to start building a structure that is inside here. And, you know... Deal with it. Right? So we can kind of enclose this and try to make this the start of our house. The problem is, I don't know how to make a torch. Let me see if I can find it in the guide. Uh, yeah, I need light. Light torches that can be made from sticks and dry grass. Okay. So let me then... That's perfect. That's what I should be doing before my fire dies. Let me go here. Let me... Um, oh, I think I used all my sticks to... Okay, let me get some... Try to get some more. Do I have any sticks lying around? I don't think so. I think I used them all to make fire starter, which I, I see was a mistake. There's a stick. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. We're in. 
we're in. Okay, I'm going to go here. And this is like a, I mean, a really, really deep survival game. I'm feeling like uh, almost like Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead here uh, <laughs> at the level of exactness. All right, make me a torch. Four of them is great. And then I'm going to, like, light it. No. Um, do I have to, like, put it on the fire pit? Is that how you do that? Yeah, it's making them. We'll create three torches. Great. You know what, though? I don't know how long those last. I mean... I'm, it's not like Minecraft where they're going to last forever. I wish. I can plant it, though. I can pretend. Look at me. I'm going to go in this cave. Okay, perfect. Look at this. It's not actually to my death. There's, uh, there's an end to this. Okay, fantastic. Now, I don't know. Let's look at this torch and see if you can tell, like, how long it will last. I don't. I haven't got a sense of that yet. I'm gonna um, open it. Where's my other? Uh, I should be able to open this fire pit. There should be two torches waiting for me, right? Huh? Or not? Oh no, maybe with nine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You just can't have something selected. Okay. There we go. I'm going to keep this torch out. And now we can kind of like walk around and actually explore the darkness just a little bit. And feel, you know, somewhat better about things. Our fire is still going. I don't know how long that's going to last. And, God, beautiful skies. It's just very, very interesting atmosphere and effect that this game has. I'm wandering around. I hear things squealing. I'm hoping to not get attacked. I'm hungry. My tools are breaking. But I do have some water. You know, this is like a scrubland. There's not that much... Or there's not that many trees. It's very, very young material. Like small saplings and things. Alright, let me be careful. Wow, look at that. Look how far away I can see my house because of how dark it is. I'll show you something. If I just put my torch away... Look at this. Pitch black. Everything's pitch black. Just this beautiful starry sky. But then if I turn around, you can see, even from that far away, my home. Like That's how powerful light is. And the torch is still up. I'm going to select my torch. Ignite block. Now, I don't think I want to do that right now. I'm going to put up some other torches. I don't think it's like Minecraft where like monsters will spawn where there's not torches. But I like the idea of being able to see back there. Looks awesome, by the way. Okay. And I think I want to just put that torch right there. Again, I know that they probably won't last forever. But I want them to just be sources of illumination for me from far away. Because it's just too hard to see. Now, to break this... This is rock, and you need copper tools to break it. You can see on the tooltip it says that. So, you know, I could use... Of course, uh, I can make a shovel and, like, make... Uh, compacted dirt home but I'd like to just make a log cabin that's always something I enjoy but I need more trees for that and wood seems to be a bit scarce I, I, I can look around a bit but I don't see anything awesome I kind of want to stay close to my base at night too well everyone I think this is a good place to end this first episode this first look at this game I am very, very curious to know what you guys think of it. I know a lot of you on the channel play survival games and or play Minecraft, and I'd love to know what you make of this this mashup of the two. Uh, it is a very, very um, 
deep game. I mean, I could build gears. We're going up and we're trying to progress all the way to, oh, you know, the steel age in this game. This is just such an interesting thing. And the game is very deep. It's early access, but there's a lot done here. And it's uh, really intrigued me. So let me know what you guys think. Have you tried this yet? Uh, do you want to see more of this? Do you enjoy this? What are your thoughts and opinions? I'd love to talk with you guys in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I'll check you guys next time. Thanks again to Alex for getting the channel this game. Take care, everybody.